On today's installment from the Summer of Portables, we've got this Coronado, well, Gamble's Coronado fan. That's what the other label says. This one says Gamble's on it. That one does not over there. That is another Coronado I've got. Anyways, I believe these are might be from the 50s, at least I think. The fan is in really good shape, only a couple of blemishes. The cage may be a little bit wonky, and one of the blades may be a little bent, but that's quite fixable. Actually, that is very, very fixable. Like, that is such an easy fix, especially since this is, this is made with older construction. Everything is made just a little bit better. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it on. So it's a single speed, and the one speed it has is really impressive. It's really putting out a good amount of air. Yeah, this fan is an absolute beast. Anyways, I'll go ahead and shut her down. I will say usually I do record with a uh, with a tripod, but I can't be bothered to go with just the whole thing just for a short like two or three minute video. So there we are. Now oh, I am gonna give you some detail shots on the fan. I'm just gonna set you down for a moment here while I unplug the cord. There we are. So you already saw the uh, the logo there, or the the tag. There are the, uh, the blades. They may just need a little bit of a cleaning. There is the, the back. It does take oil, it looks like, but I'm no longer going to be oiling it. My portables, especially these vintage portables, they really don't get a lot of use. So I tend to not, not oil them. Here is a uh, side view of the fan. You can see it's got that standard sort of bullet-shaped uh, housing area. There's the, uh, the speed switch. Or the, I think they usually call these like snap switches or something. Or actually, no, I think snap switches are a little different. Anyways, then um, here's this part of it here. The wing nut obviously you can loosen that and you could mount it on the wall if you so desired. Anyways, now one thing that's really cool about this one is um, this here. The original tag. And it actually says Minneapolis, Minnesota. And as you know, I am Minnesotan, so that is um that is interesting. I don't know whether Gamble's like in Coronado and all that was based out of Minnesota. I honestly do not know. I would have to do some um I would have to do some research to find out about that. I'm not too sure. Like I don't know. I don't know of too many um actual like local fan people. Like I guess one of the closest would be Northwest Enviro fan with the with the, all their stuff. I will say, though, that uh, Superior Electric, when I first heard that name, I thought of, like, Lake Superior or something like that. But I don't know if that was actually, like, from around there or not. I really do not know. But Gambles, it says Minneapolis. So I'm going to have to do some research, maybe, and I'll see what I can find on it. It is really interesting, and I'm certainly glad I own this fan. I always love these styles of uh, vintage fans. I just absolutely adore the look of them. So, yeah, that's about what I've got for you. Um, It's about what I've got for you here. And I was also just looking up at that I would show you. I don't know if I ever showed this on camera, but this light kit always gives such a cool look from underneath. Absolutely love it. But anyways, um, yeah, I just figured I would throw that in the end there because it is actually quite cool. And I, I forget about it because I don't use the light on the fan much except for when I... I record here because I do like these videos to look as good as um as good as possible. But I I'm straight at this point I've strayed away from the main topic of the video and I don't have anything else to say. So I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.